capitalizes on the Balladeer's original construction as a mechanical puppet, with the Gnosis serving as a constant power supply. How much effort and resources did the Sages put into this? From a purely technological perspective, it's a commendable achievement indeed. It's no exaggeration to say, this is the culmination of human wisdom. You sure are something! Dishing out compliments at a time like this? But I don't think he's reached the spiritual height of a god. Strife is engraved upon every god and every gnosis brought forth into this world. Can you feel it? The exhilaration of such power and the thrill of anticipation for our contention. Nahida wouldn't feel the same things as you! Do you not realize that you are interrupting a conversation between gods? Lowly creature, know your place! The strife and grief upon a Gnosis. You're talking about the Archon War. Tavat's current peace was not easily won. I didn't personally participate in the Archon War, but the way I see it... All those losses were meaningless, driven by the demands of the laws. There's no point in bringing it up again. <laughs> Is that so? Yet I am deeply disappointed that I was never allowed the fortuity to personally participate in the Archon War. This is a first. Encountering a god in this world who does not crave power. No wonder your own people have abandoned you, god of wisdom. <laughs> your judgment is as your existence. Unsubstantial. This is where everything ends, Boor, the god of wisdom. You should know that wisdom cannot solve every problem. Like now, where your only option is to face me in combat. Come! Let us reenact a scene of the Archon War. Come and inaugurate my birth as a god. <laughs> 